Google Chromecast versus Roku Streaming Stick. Which is the right one for you? Well, the answer is kind of difficult because even though they look really similar, these are totally different devices and they work very differently. So let's take a look at each and figure out which one is the best for your use. First, let's take a look at some similarities. They're both HDMI dongles, so they're gonna take up an HDMI port on your TV. They're also both powered via USB, so you can either use a USB port on your TV or plug it into a wall or a power strip outlet. That's where the similarities end, though. You'll notice the Roku streaming stick comes with a remote control. For the Chromecast, though, your remote is your smartphone, tablet, or in some cases, a computer. The setup process for each is pretty similar. You have to have Wi-Fi for either of these to work. With the Roku, you just search for your Wi-Fi router punch in the password using the remote and you're connected. For the Chromecast, you'll need to connect to the dongle like it's a Wi-Fi router itself. Then you help it find your actual Wi-Fi router, enter the password, and now it's connected. Now let's check them out on screen. And here's where we really see the core difference between these two. You see, the Roku has a home screen. It's a familiar menu style interface where you can browse available apps or add new ones. And there are thousands of apps available. I mean, sure, you'll only use five or six of them regularly, but there's a specialized app out there for everyone, and that's pretty neat. The Chromecast, on the other hand, has no menu and no interface. It's kind of a dumb dongle, but for some folks, that's a really great thing. You use it by finding the content you want to watch on your smartphone or tablet and then casting it to the Chromecast. For instance, here's Netflix. I want to watch this show. I start it on my phone and then press this little TV icon up here. There's the Chromecast. I press that and, wait for it, there's my show on my TV. I can do this with a number of apps, both video and audio related, and most of the usual suspects are supported, but there are far less apps that support Chromecast than there are for Roku. For instance, if you've got kids, the Roku Stick has PBS Kids and Nickelodeon apps. Still, both the Roku Streaming Stick and Chromecast can play live streaming content from several cable channels, if you have a cable subscription, like ESPN and HBO Go are both supported. The Roku Streaming Stick costs 50 bucks, the Chromecast is 35, sometimes $30 on sale, so we're pretty close in terms of price. They're both capable of streaming a lot of content from the most popular sources, but at the end of the day, the Roku Streaming Stick offers a fun user interface, more apps, and more content. It'll even play slideshows and video off your phone without any additional apps. On the other hand, the Chromecast is a lean, streamlined dongle that makes your phone or tablet the remote control. Now that you know a little bit more about both of them, you can decide which is best for you.